solve for y in the following system of equations. We have this and this, and let's solve y. Now, one approach to do it is to simply solve for one variable, and we're going to solve for x here, and we want to replace x with y's because we want just y's. So let's try to get what x is. So this is equation number one, equation number two. I'm going to try to replace this with y, so I need to know what x is in terms of y's. So equation number one, I'm going to rewrite it. x is equals to, I'm going to move the y over, becomes a positive y, minus one. So now I know what x is by using basic algebra for equation number one. Now that we have the value of x, we can simply look at equation number two and plug in that x value. 3x becomes 3y minus 1 plus 5y is equal to 21. We're trying to solve for it. So what we can do is now, solving for y, and we have all the variables in terms of y's, not x's, just use basic algebra. We have 3y minus 3 plus 5y equals 21. 3y plus 5y is 8y is equals to, I'm going to move the 3 over, becomes a plus 3. 21 plus 3 becomes 24. I'm going to divide both sides by 8. We have y is equals to 3. So the answer is b, 3. Let's try this in a different way. So the idea of plugging one equation into another is fine. And the idea is quite simple. The idea of solving for one variable to plug in so that we're only working with one variable is nice. But sometimes it's easier to just uh, multiply uh, one of the equations so that one variable cancels out. So for example, if I want to solve for y, I'm going to actually try to eliminate the x's. And when I look at these two equations, I can multiply equation number 1 by 3. So equation number 1 revised becomes times 3 becomes 3x minus 3y is equal to negative 3. I multiplied everything by 3, left side as well as right side. So now I'm focusing on these two equations, and I'm going to subtract. I have 3x minus 3x is 0, which I don't have to write. And I have 5y. So I have 5y minus negative 3y, because it's this here, minus negative 3y. So the 2 minus it becomes a positive, is equals to 21, which is the top equation, minus negative 3. So I'm subtracting down this way top minus the bottom. We're allowed to do that. We're allowed to add equations. We're allowed to subtract equations. So we have 5y minus 3y minus negative 3y becomes a 5y plus 3y, which becomes 8y is equal to 21 plus 3, which is 24. So y is equal to divide both sides by 8. y is equal to 3. So this is yet another way to solve for the answer which is B.